Providence football is off to a perfect 6-0 start, blowing out their opponents by an average of 50 points a game. But amazingly, that's not the most interesting point when it comes to this team. Wave Sports anchor Dusty Baker has that story. It was just all a blur. Like, I didn't know what was going to happen. My parents didn't know what was going to happen. Mark Millay, a senior right tackle for Providence High School, experienced a significant roadblock on the basketball court during a rebounding drill in June of 2022. Kid goes up for a rebound, comes down, elbows Mark on the head. Next thing I remember, I'm in the trainer's room, and the trainer's holding the cloth to my nose and it's bleeding. And I had no recount of what happened the past 15, 20 minutes. There's just something in my gut that was like, this is different. Malay and his family were recommended to go through with a CT scan following the incident. The CT scan showed I didn't have a brain bleed, but then the radiologist found something abnormal. The abnormality was confirmed in an MRI. It was a brain tumor. And that week was probably one of the hardest weeks I've had in my entire life. Like I've never seen Marcus express his emotions like that. It was something like different on another level. Me personally, I probably would have just shut it down after that. On June 20th, Malay had brain surgery to remove the tumor. It was difficult knowing that one of your brothers or not here with you and they're battling something that's bigger than football. But with his relentless spirit making it a goal to get back out on the field. He never wanted anything else other than to be back. And he was in and out of practice. I mean, still hanging around the guys, being as positive as he can be. Did you ever envision that you would get back out on the football field? I knew at some point I would. I just didn't know if it would be last year or this year. To see him come back from that has been miraculous. On September 22nd of 2022, Mark returned to practice. While we were practicing, he was running sprints. He was running laps around the field. On October 10th, he returned to contact. I started getting ready and just, I realized it's finally here. I'll finally be able to play again. Dude just had brain surgery. We're going to throw him in already. And on October 21st, he returned to play in the first sectional game against Springs Valley, recording three tackles in the process. Over time, I realized that with the people supporting me, I was able, I was going to be able to get back to where I was. And now we're here and we're doing good. Now, Mark is a senior leader on the offensive line. And what he's been through, and we're going through practice and games, and we know nothing can be as hard as what he en endeavored. So he came back stronger. So to have him back and to see him bounce back from that, it's been amazing. What did you learn about yourself through this process? Being told I wasn't going to be able to play, then going to physical therapy, working hard every day to be able to get back. I feel like I've taken that to the classroom and back to the field. And then just my sense of gratitude for all the coaches, my teammates, just always being there to pick me up after what happened is just, it's just great. Reporting in Clarksville, Dusty Baker, Wave Sports. The undefeated Pioneers put their 6-0 record on the line on Friday night, hosting Milan. We'll be right back.